with Your Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Musa Faki Muhammad, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Her Excellency Dr. Carla Natalie Burnett, Secretary General of the Caribbean Community, and His Excellency Mr. Dustin Brown, Chairperson of CARICOM. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor to be part of this historic first Africa CARICOM Summit. This initiative places us on the threshold of what I would call a new epoch of integration, unity, and cooperation. It calls to mind the words of one of the great leaders of our continent, the founding father of our sister country, Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, when he said, our children may learn about the heroes of the past. Our task is to make ourselves architects of the future. Your well, Excellency, President Kenyatta, this summit presents a reimagining of the future of relations between our peoples, the African continent, and in the Caribbean, who, although separated by a vast ocean, are united by a shared history. This summit is taking place in the first year of the decade of African roots and diaspora, which was declared in February this year at the 34th ordinary session of the Assembly of the African Union. The diaspora is an integral part of the story of Africa, the progress of Africa, and indeed, the future of Africa. Greater cooperation between the countries on the African continent and the Caribbean community was espoused by our forebears who convened the fifth Pan-African Congress in Manchester in 1945. It was there that leaders like Mze Jomo Kenyatta and Kwame Nkrumah planted the seed that would become the, Afri the Organization of African Unity in 1963. In this sense, we are fulfilling, as we are gathered here, an important aspiration of the pioneers of Pan-Africanism. And within a contemporary context of the African Union's Agenda 2063. Our common heritage should encourage us to deepen our engagement, strengthen trade and investment, collaborate in research and development, and share expertise and knowledge amongst our countries. Just as we share a common history, we also have common challenges. We are all contending with the devastating human, social, political, and economic effects of COVID-19 pandemic. We are all working to overcome the effects of colonialism and underdevelopment by building inclusive economies and creating more opportunities for our people. 
we are all vulnerable to the effects of climate change through rising sea levels, adverse weather effects, and social and economic disruption. This pandemic has demonstrated the value and the necessity of confronting challenges by working together. From the onset set of the pandemic, we developed a united African continental response strategy. We established a special COVID-19 response fund and launched the groundbreaking African medical supplies platform. We also set up the African Vaccine Access Tax Team, which has distinguished itself by mobilizing vaccines for the African continent and the Caribbean. We share a determination that when it comes to vaccines and other critical health interventions, no region, no country, and no person should be left behind. It is therefore a matter of great significance that Caribbean countries joined other African countries in utilizing the platforms the African Union has set up to acquire medical supplies as well as vaccines. Just as we have worked together to access medical supplies and vaccine doses for our peoples. We need to share experiences. We also need to share expertise and technology to better respond to COVID-19 as well as future pandemics. We must mobilize the global community behind the call for a temporary waiver of the TRIPS agreement. I must continue to lobby for partnerships on licensing and technology transfer with those countries that have the capacity to produce their own vaccines. Gone must be the time now when Africa and the Caribbean will need to be sourcing medical supplies and vaccines from other lands and continents that do not have the same perspective or full solidarity that we have. The pandemic has shown what is possible when principled solidarity is put to the service of the common good. Let us draw on this solidarity as we rebuild our economies. We should in particular explore the opportunities that are presented by the African continental free trade area to advance our aspirations towards economic integration and shared prosperity. Through this partnership, we should work to transform the fortunes of all the people of Africa and all the people of African descent in the Caribbean. Through our actions, we must become the architects of our common future, where Africa and the Caribbean are joined together by a common goal of ensuring that our peoples have prosperity. I thank you and I want to support the proposal that this summit must become an annual feature. Africa, it is important that the bonds of history continue into the future, seeing it through 
this one, we will be able to, and deepen our partnership. Thank you.